Year 12, wow, starting year 12 in a few weeks time. It's going to be different from year 11, it's going to be really quite different and um, the class sizes will be smaller and generally you find your teachers are a lot more relaxed, like a lot more relaxed. Um, there could be a completely different style of teaching going on, maybe instead of like 34 people all sitting in tables and chairs. It could be a lot more sitting around, all oh, everyone sitting around a table chatting together. Um, one thing that generally happens in year 12s are cake routers. Um, the person that suggests that is generally very, very popular. The person who organises that, so um, I definitely suggest that you get on a cake rotor. Um, it is also a really, really good idea to set up a WhatsApp group for everyone in your class, so you just have one group, so that you can share like photos of homework, or you can share notes, or if someone misses, you can just like snap a photo of the homework and then share it to the group straight away, so that everyone doesn't have to write it down. I know this can be kind of like a bit weird, but generally A level classes aren't that big, so hopefully the WhatsApp group shouldn't get too chaotic. If you remember back to when you were studying for your GCSEs I know it feels like a whole lifetime ago but it was only a couple of months ago and you kind of said I wish I started revising sooner well yes you now have the chance to do that I know me saying revising at the beginning of year 12 you're kind of like what ages are I miss but you thought that at the beginning of year 10 and exams came around very very quickly so for every lesson you do make a couple of flashcards make a mind map start making your revision materials now um, so that when it comes round to revising it is not so scary. There are still a few weeks left before we actually start back at school so if you are bored, oh strange word, if you are bored by the massive massive summer you have had off you can just start your A-levels now. If you're doing A-level chemistry I have written a lovely little book for you, it's a little book, it's full of questions it's not supposed to be loads and loads of work over summer, it's just supposed to be a little bit of a start to make things easier. If you know there are books that you have to read, then well, read them now, take them to the beach, go and lie in the garden and read those books. You will see behind me that my piles of books are getting larger and larger. Um, find something that you're interested in, so in a few months time, and it is only going to be a few months time when people start throwing scary words like UCAS around, you have a vague general idea of what you want to study at university. These are also massive pile of books, um, really cool books, so just go and read some books for fun. Year 12 is a great time to find out what you're actually interested in and realise that your teachers are human and that they're teaching the subject because they're really interested in it as well. So you're going to find that there are loads and loads of different relationships um, going on that your teachers are going to view you differently, you're going to view your teachers differently, you're going to have study time where you can manage your own time and you're treated with a lot more responsibility in year 12. It is a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to be doing a little chemistry and a little biology videos for you here. So watch out for those and I'll be here with you the whole way.